Base launch check during countdown net. Pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning and welcome to the webcast for SpaceX's 32nd mission of 2022 and the 53rd Starlink mission to date. You're looking at a live but rather foggy view of Space Launch Complex 4 East in Vandenberg Space Force Station, California. Our Falcon 9 rocket, we promise, is sitting on the pad there, although it is difficult to see. Now, for those of you that are following along, you'll know that we stood down from our launch attempt yesterday. At T minus one minute, the Falcon 9 flight computer took control of the countdown for its final pre-launch checks, as it always does. At T minus 46 seconds, the vehicle identified an off nominal reading from one of our Merlin M1D engines. The flight computer saw an out of limits reading on a backup valve position within the first stage propulsion system, and this reading caused an automatic hold on the countdown. Since then, the teams investigated, resolved the issue, and we are now go for launch. As you can see, it, like I mentioned Stage before. Stage one, launch float is complete. All right, we just heard the call out there that stage one LOX load is complete. That is Falcon 9's first stage uh, is now fully loaded with um, all of its RP-1 or liquid uh, kerosene and LOX or liquid oxygen. Um, the weather, although it is foggy at the pad, uh, we're actually located just over that ridge uh, that you see there. Um, the weather only has a 20% chance of violation of our launch criteria, so that's good news there. We are tracking no major issues. The range is green and ready to support liftoff in just under two and a half minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, we are standing by for TE retraction. We've been underway with propellant load since T minus 35 minutes, and the second stage, which sits on top of the rocket, above the first stage has already completed its RP-1 load and will finish its LOX load uh, in just a few seconds from now. Load is complete. At this point in time, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Today marks the fourth flight for this first stage and SpaceX's 170th mission overall. LD is go for launch. Falcon 9's in startup. Thirty seconds. Today's mission is for Starlink, sending an additional forty six satellites to low Earth orbit or LEO. 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. 
and lift off of Starlink 3-2, go Falcon 9. Vehicle is pushing down range. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. Telemetry nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Axe Q. Falcon 9 has now passed through max Q, the maximum dynamic pressure that it will feel during flight. And back chill has started. With that call out there, we heard that the second stage is preparing to ignite its Merlin vacuum engine. We're up less than one minute away from main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start. Acquisition of signal, go quest. Beautiful view of the California coast there in the background behind the first stage. All right, and as you saw right there, those fairings deployed. Today marks the third flight for one of those fairing halves and the fifth flight for the other. As usual, we will be attempting to recover these once again uh, after they fall back to Earth. On the left-hand side of your screen, we can see the first stage as those grid, flint, grid fins have deployed and the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen as that MVAC engine nozzle begins to glow orange. Everything continues to look good for both the first and second stages. We can see that the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen has peaked and is now making its descent back to Earth. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. As a reminder, today's payload is for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation Starlink.
The next major event that we have coming up in about a minute is stage one entry burn, where we reignite three Merlin engines at the base of the first stage, the center engine and two radial engines. We relight those as uh, in preparation for the first stage's re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. Second stage is following a nominal trajectory. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. As you can see, stage one has reignited three of its engines to help slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Second stage is following a nominal trajectory. Stage one transonic. As we just heard there, first stage is now traveling near the speed of sound. Stage two, FTS was saved. We're now coming up to the landing bird burn for that first stage that you see there. Stage one, landing burn. The first stage has lit one engine, the center engine, to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Terminal guidance. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. As you can see there on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed, marking SpaceX's 56th first stage landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and our 125th Falcon 9 landing overall. Nominal orbital insertion. And as you heard, we had a good second engine cutoff. Second stage is now carrying those 46 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Thanks for joining us for our 53rd Starlink mission. If you were excited to follow us through launch today and have interest in joining our team in Vandenberg, be sure to check out spacex.com slash careers. Also be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy, and we'll see you soon.